Hello and uh, welcome to Asake Online. I'm Dino Dawa. Today on Asake Sports, we are going to be looking at 2019 in sport, where we have seen uh, more than uh, five uh, World Cup tournaments taking place all across the world, uh, from football, cricket, rugby, and of course, netball, where we saw the James are uh, representing Zimbabwe as they made their debut appearance in Liverpool. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, zooming in on uh, Zimbabwe in general, and also uh, to mention uh, uh, the Warriors when they went to Egypt to represent presented the nation in the Africa Cup of Nations tournament and uh, we'll uh, finish off the program by uh, talking about uh, the ICC cricket banner that was imposed on Zimbabwe. Yes, it might have been uh, uplifted uh, but then we need to know about the implications on, 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 on us as a Zimbabwe and cricket. So joining me to discuss all these matters is Randy Matikidze, whom I'm going to welcome to the show today. Uh, Randy, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, my brother. Thank you for me, having me on your show. Good uh, so. Good Briefly, who is Randy? Uh, Randy is uh, basically I'm from Popo. I grew up in Popo. I'm born and bred in Popo, and I'm a sports enthusiast. And I also studied uh, uh, sports management. So, sport is like my forte. No, I won't say forte, but it's like a passion for me. It's a calling, yes. So, just give us a background, like where is sport taken you? Where have you participated in a in uh, sport? Okay, just I, I did more of my studies in South Africa, so. I got a chance to coach uh, junior level, it's called Sex, uh, Sex uh, High School in Cape Town and I managed uh, a, a soccer team in Nelspreet in Pumalanga called Akon Push United. Yes, and yeah, sports has, it has shown me, I have travelled, it has opened up my mind going to different sporting venues, uh, facility, uh, venues and uh, going to tournaments, uh, witnessing World Cups, uh, yeah, so it has really brought and opened up my mind. As, as I was mentioning uh, during the introduction, I mentioned uh, more than five World Cup tournaments that took place during the year. Okay. Uh, under 17 World Cup, uh, we yeah. saw the Rapinos uh, uh, playing football yeah. there. Okay. Now, how has been a sporting year throughout the, the, the entire year? Like, we, we had all these tournaments taking place. How has been a sporting year as an individual? No, uh, 2019 has been exciting, in terms, especially in terms, like you mentioned, the World Cups. There's been quite a lot of World Cups. And uh, the, the sad thing is you, you didn't see much of African participation. It was more still like the, the balance of power is still in the, in the Europe, on the western side. And that's, that, is, that is worrying till in, in this day and age. You see that there's still no shift in the, the balance in power. It's still stuck on, still, it's, it's still on one side. So we need, we need to, sh that, that, that balance needs to, needs to be shifted somewhere else. It needs to be balanced, like I'm saying, yeah. yeah. It needs to be balanced. With sport. the exception of netball. Yes, where, the netball. Where, where was Zimbabwe? Yeah, the in James, all the they other did. tournaments. <laughs> No, the James did us proud. Uh, debut appearance, finishing in eighth position, having a, one of the one of our ladies was, top, was the ninth top scorer, and she's she's based in Australia. So they did us they did us quite proud, and you could see each and every game that they played, whether they won, whether they lost, mm -hmm. they was they were playing with determination and and and, and they, they 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 focus, they vision, and the guts they, they they gave it all. They're all on the pitch. You see. They didn't let anything, the, the, the site distracted them, nothing distracted them. They went there to do their job and they did their job the best that they could. Now talk about the gems and yes. uh, you also mentioned uh, 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 Joyce. Yes. She finished number nine, as yes. you said, yes. with 198 points mm. in terms of goal scoring. Yes. Now uh, they played eight games, Yes. they lost five, Yes. Uh, but still they could manage to win the one three. The one three games, yes. They, they, yes. they could also manage to to play with the legs of four champions like Australia yeah. and New Zealand, those yes. are big teams. Yes, yes. Uh, you also mentioned uh, commitment. Yes. Do you think from what they did yes. going forward, netball in Zimbabwe is going to be flourishing? It, it, you know what the thing is, it can flourish, but there, there, there needs to be, there has to be a carry on. Someone has to carry that mantle on, which means you need to invest. You need to, this, this, the, the, this, this, the, this performance that they gave, it should motivate want to drive people to, to really want to push the sport up and, 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 and resuscitate the sport. Because when we were growing up, we knew that girls, the, girls like to play netball. Netball is a very popular sport and the boys would play soccer. Yeah. Then along the, along the way, you don't know what happened. I, maybe the, the lack of focus, focus went somewhere else. Like the, the I'll talk, I don't want to get too deep into politics, but yeah. you know you need, you need the private sector and the government sector to come together mm -hmm. and help out. And you, need, you need sponsorship. Yes. Because now there, there was no infrastructure. When did you last see a netball pitch, a proper netball court? You see, there's nothing. You need to have, you need to have facilities to motivate 
to get the people to want to play the sport. Because you cannot expect people to just out of the blue to watch the tournament on TV. Then you expect tomorrow the whole nation is just going to be behind playing the sport. No, you need to build, you need to bring back that spirit, that morale. So you need to work with it. this thing. Is this performance is, needs to have a knock-on effect? Okay. Yes. Now that's what I think. Talk about netball. You know, yes. there's power in sport because mm. uh, I remember during the tournament, you even see men rushing home yes. to watch the games. That, yes. that, that, that that's the impact they had mm. to the country. And uh, with that beautiful win against Northern Ireland, yes. they managed to beat quite a number of teams with yes. uh, good scores. Yes. And uh, sport to, to, to us, it, it means a lot. Yes. Think about the economic situation. So sport has got life. It's, we are a sporting nation and it's, we're going through some economic tough, tough times, going through economic situations. So that, that, that actually boosts the morale of the people. Because now people can focus on something. Oh, we're going to watch the gyms. And for those few minutes, your mind can shift from from the problems that you're thinking about, that you have in, to the game, you're watching the, the gyms, they're doing you proud, you feel motivated. So sport also can, it, it's not just, not just about playing on the pitch, and it also does something for you inside. It, it, it lifts your morale, it boosts you. Talk about the girl child? Yes, the girl child. The vulnerable girl child, yeah. Vulnerable girl child, it motivates them too. I can also achieve, I can also travel the world. This, this, this game that my parents, maybe you might find a parent will tell you, no, netball is not, you, you can't go anywhere in life with netball. Put the on your books. Then she said, hey, that, there's my hero. She went uh, Perpetua, yeah. said Chitema, the captain. The captain. Mm. She's traveled, she's going to England now. Who would have thought, to, just by playing, bouncing your ball, throwing your ball. She's traveled, she's going to England, yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. No more, you know, <laughs> I'll mention the continues. soccer team. We, like yes. like I said about Joyce, who's based in Australia. Australia. She's rubbing shoulders with big players. Yes. There. Hence, the way she performs. And she, and she's making a living. Up. Indeed. She's, t she's raising her kids. She's got her house. She's yeah, making a living. You can make a living out of sport. People mustn't just see sport as a play, a pastime or a play. No, it's not just a pastime. Yes, it can be a pastime to entertain you. But now, times have changed. You must see it beyond that. That is where I think the problem is. If people cannot see sport past being more than being a pastime, once we change our mindset, then um, things will, I think well, our sport can improve. Yeah, so much to talk about when it comes to Nepal. But then uh, maybe if we can just shift our focus a bit mm. and we travel to Egypt, okay. where our national team, our warriors, had yes. gone there to represent the country, yes. where they were making their fourth appearance in the Africa Cup of Nations. Okay. But uh, their performance, what was the take during the entire tournament? What did you come up with? I think from the onset, before they left the country, you could tell that there was going to be problems because they were already shambles. The administration, the, the preparations were in shambles. So, like they're saying, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. For failure, mm. yes. So, we just, it's like we're just going to fulfill the, the, the fixtures, to fill up the numbers. That team number 16, you're going to play. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, uh, and maybe some of the guys <laughs> at gone on shopping trips, I don't know. You may never know. <laughs> so, the thing is, you need, you need to get the right people in the, in, 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 in the look at Zifa, I'll give you an example, the mother body. Mm -hmm. you, you need to get the right people, the guys who, the guys who know the game, guys who, who, who've played the sport. Because it's, it's an embarrassment. Our, our name is getting tarnished. Yeah. From once being, we once we were close to power. We beat Cameroon, we beat, beat South Africa, we beat the Lakers. Yes. Days. Yeah. The, yeah. yes, the what you call the, the Fabish's team, yes. the dream yes. team. What happened to the dream team? People always, one of the viewers, they always see the, they see the dream team. But now it's beyond, it's no more dream team. So they just see, ah, there's failures. And the problem is, it's the preparations, like I said. If, if the board, how, how, can, how can all the board members Go to Egypt. <laughs> while, the, while, while, while they've sorted out the player salaries, you see yeah. issues like that, my brother. Administrative issues need to be sorted out. Because if the if 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 the if the off the pitch is not good, you cannot expect anything on the pitch to be good. Yes, you can have all the soccer stars, all the best. You can have twenty comma billiards. Hmm. But if the if, if the if if the office is wrong, administration is wrong. I'm telling you, you, you can't expect much. No, that you just mentioned uh, you just mentioned comma billiards. Yes, and it came to my mind that. We played three games. Yes. We're in Group A with Egypt. Uh, yes. We have Gaza, Uganda, Uganda yes. and, uh, and GRC. We we scored one goal through Kamal Billiard and, considered and we six. considered six. Yes, already. <laughs> with, with the quality of the squad that we have, because right now every map is supporting Aston Villa. Yes, and already the automatic uh, Kaza Chiefs fans are enjoying having Kamal Billiard and yes. Kaza Chiefs, and we see how good he is. Yes, we we, we, we recently saw him so again when they were playing in the qualifier against Zambia that these people are good. Yes, but no what's the take when it comes to the way we performed with the goal, goal ratio that we just mentioned here? 
I, I think also, it, it, like I'm saying, the issues of it, it's admin also because you've got issues of club, the team selection. Depends on how you select your team. I, it was just from the onset, my brother. It's just shambles. Right now, Queen C has left the office yes, yes. and we are in the process of qualifying. And, for and already, that, that is wrong. You cannot have a coach who is coaching domestic league, then he's coaching the national team. And Quincy was in, was in a position where his team is also fighting for the championship. So now, where the, how does he focus his, where does he focus his energies? Because now his team is fighting, they, they need him. Because he had a hectic, this, this, this few games that he played, this, those, qualification, those qualifiers. But Botswana, he had, to fly, he had to fly, leave the team, go to his team because... because how uh, much time does he have to spend the with PSL, the PSL, the PSL, I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately scheduled matches during the FIFA break, Indeed. which you do not know. No one is playing domestic football during the FIFA. But Zimbabwe, we don't know, we do things in reverse. We decided to play. Just a shot left. So now already, <laughs> you see that he's under pressure. It was yeah. too much pressure for him. You cannot blame him. It becomes too much for him. Okay, now we have just mentioned about preparations and yes. how before you've been called to the host place, yes. there is a lot of shambles happening. Yes. Going forward, we've got a good squad. What do yes. you think must be done? Uh, like you're saying, like we spoke, like you just mentioned it, the issue is we, we just need to sort out the office. We need, to account we need people who are accountable, people who are committed, people who are dedicated to fight the cause. We have national pride. Because we cannot just go to office and just sit there on your chair. You don't even know what is going on. You just go, I'm just going to work. Uh, and the warriors, ah, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, you just deal with it. You just, you just delegate. You, we've never seen this. Actually, the, the, we've never seen the, the Zifa guys coming to watch games at the stadium. Not even the Zifa. There was the recent the, the Chibuku Cup. You didn't see any representative. They said, there was, you can see, already they're disconnected from the, they're not, disco they're not connected with the reality on the ground of how our football is decaying. The, all they see is the, the monthly stipends that come from, 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 from FIFA. Mm -hmm. Once you're a FIFA member, every month you get what? Money to run what? Development. Mm -hmm. That money is not going to development, it's going away. In, in wrong areas. Mm -hmm. So now how do you expect the game to grow if you're not feeding it? You see? Yeah. The issues like that need to be addressed, my brother. If you don't address issues like that, then our football, I'm sorry, is... We just, we, we, we just, what is skip our one down, down, skip our status, skip, skip our one down, skip one down, skip one down, skip one down, Okay, now so much to talk about when it comes to football, especially in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Maybe one day we are going to have a panel, panel yes. and bring a lot of hosts, yes, journalists, yes. and football enthusiasts yes, to talk yes, about this. Yes. On Asaka Sports, it's always been hard to talk about uh, such issues uh, when it comes to governance and sport, but then at some time we need to understand that uh, sport is a part of our lives. Yes. Join us after the break as we are going to be zooming in on the ban that was uh, lifted, uh, that, that was put on Zimbabwe cricket uh, and how it affected us. Join us after the break as we are talking to uh, Randy Matiki, uh, the sports uh, administrator and uh, fanatic. What can SAI do for you? The Center for Innovation and Technology offers a business opportunity to engage directly with your market online. We also offer media training workshops, live streaming, documentary production, and events management. For more information, visit our website and social media platforms. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. With SIGHT, you'll never miss a thing. Welcome back on Asaka Sports as we continue discussing our 2019 in sport here in Zimbabwe. Uh, right now, we're going to be engaging Randy again uh, as we talk about the banner that was uh, put on Zimbabwe and how it affected us. Randy, Zimbabwe, when it comes to cricket, I, I remember the Moray Godwin days. Yes. We had uh, the likes of uh, the Flower Brothers. Uh, the Flower Brothers. Yes. We had, uh, we had uh, the likes of Andy Flower. It's true. He, he was our top batsman. Yes. But then, all of a sudden, there was uh, a blow and an exodus of top players yes. up to the time where Zimbabwe cricket is right now. And uh, at the time when we thought we are gaining ground, a ban was put on us. Mm. What happened? Uh, the, ban, the, the, the ban that was put on us, uh, that, that prevented us from qualifying for the T20 World Cup mm. in Australia, I think it's similar to the, what happened in 2003. When the players wore the black um, uh, armbands, then they were, then they quit. Uh, yeah, I can say basically when they quit, when they quit the team, the players that you just mentioned, yeah. the flowers. So, like you say, political interference. People, people don't understand the game, but you only want to 
uh, enjoy the fruits, the benefits, but you don't want to invest in the game. So once you interfere, because this, the, the mother bodies are strict. ICC is strict. You don't, they don't want political interference. You, 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 there's channels that you must follow, you see. You, can, you cannot have uh, SRC going to, Z, to ZC and trying to, or ZC, the other. ICC is the mother body. So if you have a problem, you write to the ICC. Then the ICC will try and resolve the issue at ZC because they, they've got their lawyers. That will just resolve the issue. You don't have SRC coming, you know. Because now there'll be issues of the sense of nepotism, the corruption issues, all those things. And th th those are the issues that are plaguing us at ZC. That is the honest truth. Nepotism, corruption. Is it? That is, those are the two biggest problems. I mean, basically, like, okay, basically corruption. Do they ever put themselves in... In lack of accountability. <laughs> yes. That's, 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 that's just too much there. <laughs> now, do they ever put themselves in our shoes as yes. Zimbabweans to think that I would watch the ICC Cricket World Cup. Yes. We are not there. Yes. I would watch whichever form of World Cup. Yes. And we are still not there. Yes. Come whichever sporting event, we are not there. And now you mentioned about the T20. Yes. Uh, World, World Cup, Cup that is going to be taking place. Yes. When the ban was lifted, already the qualifiers had begun. Yes. It's another spell. It's a setback, a big setback. If you had to talk as a, as a citizen yes. who's banning, what would you say? to the guys up there. Because now, it's... <laughs> uh, you know what? I would, I would ask them to get the house in order, to think, to consider us, the, the fans. Because we want to see our boys out there representing the country. We want to see the sport growing. Because it, it, there's filter down effects. It helps the country. It exposes the country. We get exposure. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, we want to come and play against Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is no, Zimbabwe's got good players, so we can go, ah, let's go play Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. when, when New Zealand, let's say, New Zealand comes on tour this side, they come with their, with their players, not only their players, but with their, with their supporters. With their supporters also. And it's good for the economy. Yes. If they're hosting in Bulawayo, obviously they sleep, need to sleep, get accommodation. That brings money. They'll yes, spend yes. that. See, there's, there's a lot. You see, that there's a narrow, this blinkered vision. They only see things. There's no one broad vision. It's narrow, the, 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 the thinking and the, and the vision, you see. Because now you get, like, I'll go back to that issue. They get a stipend also from ICC for development. The, when we, we thought there was a time when, remember Makandeni, when they said Makandeni? Yes, yeah. But hey, no, things are moving. But then what, ever since Makandeni, what happened? Nothing. nothing Look at the exactly. sporting cricket facilities. There's nothing. There was a time when New Zealand, I would keep on mentioning New Zealand because I was there. It happened and I was embarrassed. New Zealand came on tour in 2016. <laughs> the ablutions were not working, the toilets were not working. Mm -hmm. How can you host an international, international team in the toilets? Like, like not New working? Zealand. New Zealand. What are you saying there? Hmm. And, the two, and, and the New Zealand fans were shocked. They were embarrassed. They were, embar they were actually shocked. I was embarrassed. They were shocked. You see? Yeah. So yeah. issues like that, my brother, we, it just gives us a bad name. There's always like a black mark. A black Whenever there is Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, there has to be something a black mark. Yes. yes. Even, that in, is even not in sport. Sport, yes. Where talent has to be exposed. Yes. And now speaking of talent, we tournaments today. It was the recent, the only tournament I can think of is a sponsor T20 Spa. But this, this sponsor Spa T20 tournament that happened mm -hmm. it. In Strict Academy. That is the last piece of cricket I've seen. Apart from that, there's, the club, there's club cricket. Mm -hmm. But now, club cricket, yes, you can play to a certain extent, but you need to, to develop from there. You need to step up from club to what? Provincial. Mm -hmm. Now, provincial cricket, our structures, non cool. it's poor, non existent. Now, you mentioned our domestic league. Yes. Where do they get the exposure? Where do they put their skills into practice? That's what I'm saying. And how does it develop the national team in return? See, how do our players feel when they see the likes of South African players in Quinton de Kock yes. going for expensive prizes yeah. in the IPL? In the IPL, thank you. you see? How does it happen for them to, to start putting into practice what they learn? With our, our domestic league is, is just it's, it's quiet. You, 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 you what? You learn from the injury was a world family. Yes. So you go, what you do, you go to South Africa. You can liaise with the South Africans. I'm, I'm sure they're willing to help. Because they, they also need to play, to, they, they need us to be competitive. Yeah, yeah. To also make them stronger. Because you cannot be playing Kenyas and no, no disrespect to the Kenyas. And, the, and these days there's no, there no more minor, minor teams. We lost to Singapore. Who would have thought Zimbabwe would lose to Singapore? <laughs> So that's why hitting laws, we're just going law and law and law and law. Teams that started playing cricket. Yes, recently. But now they the invested, millennium. my brother, they invested. Yes. Yes, I'm sure they've got some guys who are not, some experts, guys who went there, but they're boosting the cricket. 
it's positive. It, it's a it's a good it's a good what, it's good marketing for the what, for the brand Singapore. Yes, yes. We had the likes of Macai in right before yes. the Zimbabwean cricket. Um, Lance Klusner. Lance Klusner. Macai was the uh, best. Along with our very own. Coach. Yes, his streak. His streak. Yes. But still, the depth is still suffering. No, you know what the problem is? There was no the streak and let me okay let me particular Lance and, and my Macai they're very experienced guys. They played the highest level. They played World Cups. They, those are stars. Those guys are world superstars. When they came here, they came with the expertise. They, they didn't come. Yes, there's financial benefits, but they, that was not top of their list. Yes, yes, they wanted to come and improve again because they, they know that Zimbabwe's got potential. It's just a sleeping giant. So now, now you've got you're clashing with the admin because you want to see, you want things done in a certain way, a straight way. They're thinking they want to do things their own way. Now you look at it. So what happens? Obviously, the guys here, the local, they, they've got the power, the authorities. They'll say, oh, we decide to part ways with these guys. So that's what's, the, the issue will always be that. They don't want to be shown the way. We, we, we need to work in an in a, in, in, in a, in, in open, transparent, we need that, trans, being accountable, all those things. But it's, it's lacking. Wait, where has our local cup gone to? Uh, as, as things stand, I think it's a sponsorship issue. We, we, with also the faith of a tournament that actually brought the likes of Chris Christopher Popo into the picture. Yes. But still, we are having limited games, especially when it comes to the provincial teams. Because development is non-existent now, basically. Like I said, well, how many schools, is, you need to have a, a, a tournament that, that focuses on all the schools. Where was Chris founded? In the, in the western suburbs. In the western suburbs. Yes. Yeah. We cannot have a tournament that focuses when you've got elite, elite, elite schools playing amongst themselves. You're not, get, you're not getting all the talent. There's potential out there. You never yeah, know. There's yeah. a guy who's, who's, who's super talented, but there's no tournament to actually expose his, his talents. So you're losing out. You see? Which like goes back to my issue. You need the government and, and private so a, a, a partnership. There needs there needs there's to be trust. You Thanks see? a lot for that, no one, Randy. Okay. Enough has been said about the bat and ball, yes. but still there needs to be some clarity in the way I, the, the, the ZC operates. Uh, we are going to be uh, looking at regionally and internationally after yes. the break, uh, just to see how other countries are faring when it comes to sport and yes. the impact it has on the citizens. We shall be right back after these messages. Welcome back on Asaka Sports, and I have this to say. But to see a colleague on our way to talk about the Rugby World Cup, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Matikite, we had a player. Yes. His map is the, it's the only team that can win for you the Rugby World Cup without participating. <laughs> we had the beast. Yes. And we also had a player turning out for Japan, hosting the World Cup himself. <laughs> but his map wasn't there. How, how did the World Cup fare for you? Uh, it was, I think it was a well-organized tournament mm -hmm. and as expected, the Japanese are meticulous people, th mm. they do things in an orderly mm -hmm. manner, yeah. Uh, honestly speaking, my money, most, okay, I'll say most people's money was on New Zealand. Uh, yes. Yeah, they're all, they're all blacks. Just South Africa, it, I think when they selected Rassi, Rasmus, people didn't think much about Rassi. But then when he won the championship, I don't even, South Africa didn't won the championship in, I think in five, seven, Seven years, I think, six years, yes. I think that was a stepping stone for me. It boosted the morale, mm -hmm. the confidence. And there are a lot of off, off, off the pitch issues. You know, South Africa is still dealing with that, or the transformation issue. Indeed. They, uh, you deserve to play because of, of merit, or the merit issue, or you, you're playing because of your skin color. So I think they sold those. First of all, they solved those issues. 
they got one unit they get they got them to play as a unit they were united in that yes in, yes, in diversity, yes they, got, they got them together so once they got those guys working together they're in, they were unstoppable as you could see for yourself and they i think when they lost to new zealand in the in the, the group stages in the group stages yeah they they, they, they went back to the basics and say okay where are, we, where, where are we going wrong this 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 sort, sort this out this sort that sort that out New Zealand just, I think New Zealand were, were a bit arrogant. They told, they told themselves, well, we're just going to just, just run through the tournament. Basically, we're the best. Yeah. In, 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 no, one can, can, no one can outplay us. We, are. we know this game's in our blood. But now, also, don't forget the box, my friend. The culture <laughs> of rugby in South Africa is very, <laughs> indeed, indeed. It's very, very big. It's, yo, that's a big, I think, now, they have a passion for rugby. Now, our, our very own, the Beast. Yes. Uh, if we could produce such a player as the Beast. Yes. Because... When you were speaking after the World Cup, yes. he readily mentioned that his background in rugby began here. Yes. Then what happened to the nurturing of rugby? I mean, how, how do the samples feel, honestly? <laughs> I don't think it's more of the samples. <laughs> it is the, it, it, it is, it will be Z, uh, Zetariu. Zetariu. Yes. So the samples just the team guys who play, yes. So it's, uh, it, it goes Selected back to, to the, play. yes, it goes back to the administration, to, to the offices. Are you producing, are, are, is there something to incentivize to keep that boy in the country? To make him, because he got a better offer. He went to the Sharks Academy. Mm -hmm. but still playing. I, I, I forgot the, I, I forget the school in our right. But he went, went to on tour. Then they saw he was good enough. They called him back, and from there it was magic. He could Sharks, 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 Sharks all the way. And how many players we've lost? Pocock went to Australia. Yes, that was uh, it. Nguenya went to the United States. That was it. Yes. So we've, we've lost a lot of of players, because we, we still, we still, we, we see what the problem is. But we don't wanna, we don't wanna plug the wall. We don't wanna plug the gap. You, you cannot expect the boy to, to, to I'm, I'm playing because I, I national pride. Yes, pride is there, but you can't eat national pride. Now, talk yeah. about losing players to, 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 to other countries. Yes. We now have a Kudakwasha Gofi Nakufariongo who's turning out for the Raiders in South Africa. He plays rugby yes. and is our lock here in the Sables team. Yes. He's doing very well yes. and our South Africa has captured him. Yes. That's, that's dangerous. We <laughs> love him, we want him here, but when you spoke about development, we will keep on losing these players going forward. You can love him and you can want him, you can even try and tie him down, but <laughs> what are you offering him? <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see my, I'll, He I'll, wants food on his I'll, I'll, on I'll his give table. an incident. I think it happens three years back. The Sables were in, they were in a training camp. They couldn't, there was no water. For the, the manager to go to a house to get water for the guys to drink. So how can that happen at national level? Incidents like that, my brother. And you expect the players to be motivated to come and want to come play for you, to come on, uh, bend their back for you. No, it cannot, my brother. It's a give and take. Halal it, 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 yeah, you cannot expect those guys yeah. to give to swap because literally there is blood in rugby. Then they plead for you, but what do they get in return? Ah, no thanks. It's a pat on the back. And that's all. Then that's all. Nah, it, it cannot work like that. Hi. As Zimbabweans, I'm sure it's been a long time because our passion is, has been stolen. <laughs> and I talk about passion being stolen. Yes. There is Kaiser Chiefs, there is Orlando Pirates, Ikosi Vogile. Yes. They are doing wonders. Somewhere, somehow, we no longer see Pizom Somani boosting on the screen. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Kaiser but, Chiefs is doing but, very well, my but, brother. But it did boost. <laughs> <laughs> when they lost, <laughs> when Chiefs lost, uh, I think it was, it was a telecom knockout. Yeah, yeah. Said, uh, yeah. we still got the most trophies. Who's got the most trophies? Pizzo, you know what, for Pizzo, it's hard for him to, <laughs> to remain now. Is that for him to admit anyway? Yes, it reminds me of a Africa. It reminds me of a certain coach in Europe, but I'll not mention his name. <laughs> Isn't it? Now, uh, well, well, I can strike him down like Jose Mourinho. <laughs> yes, uh, you say it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, let's look at uh, Kaiser Chiefs, they are doing pretty well, and we, we, we have a lot there when it comes to Zimbabwe talent uh, representing. Yes, uh, okay. yes, yes, yes. So, uh, Amakosa Vogile, do you think they'd go to the basics, or it was just about time for them to rise to the occasion? Uh, I think with Kaiser Chiefs, uh, the committee top is he's an experienced coach, he's, he's, he's coached in, the, in that league for, for so long, yeah. So, he understands the, the thinking of, of the local, most of the local players. How to treat them? How to go about them? To get to get the best out of them. So I think it's about the coach. The coach is experienced in that, especially in that league. And you've got, you, I think you've got the right mix of players. Guys are maturing now. They the pick most of those guys are yeah, the pick. Yeah, at Sundays, yeah. or all those guys. Most of those guys are at their pick now. You know, you the, they've got a season or, or maybe one season, especially left in them. But the Packers, all those yeah, guys, you yeah. see. So it's coming together. But after that. And then they have to. They mustn't relax. They need. They need to to keep on feeding. There has to be a supply line. Because once you, once your team matures and they pick and and you and you don't realize you need a mixture of youth and experience. 
You see? So I think they, they've got the right mixture, they achieve, it's, it's working for them. And there's motivation, Karma is doing his thing, he keeps them motivated, he's performing, so things are going well, it achieves. Now, generally, Orlando Pirates was here, they were playing against uh, FC Platinum yes. in the African tournament. Okay. And certainly, they're starting to draw like Highlanders. What do you think <laughs> has happened to the giant of Soweto? Uh, that drastic move of firing uh, the coach, Mitro, Mitro yes, oh. and throwing Rulani into the defense. He's not yet that experienced with Lanyam Kwenai. Yes, he might. He might have played or he might know. That, but experience was emotionally. And I think emotionally he's not yet that experienced. Also for, 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 for that team. That, that's, a big, that's a big brand. Pirates and Chiefs, you know, those are, those those are the... Those are big teams. The home, those are the teams in yes, South Africa. Yes, you know, got a, a certain portion, portion in people's yeah, hearts. Exactly. Indeed. So Rulani, for him, he, he, he's overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and there might be an issue with the players also. When they look at him, they think, ah, age wise, he's still a young guy. Like, loud, this man. guy, ah, how can I? And it happens it? in football. Yes. It happens in football and anywhere else. So maybe as we round up, we, 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 we need to give special mention to the way South Africa has attracted our players. We recently saw Gabriel going to South Africa. We saw the Mario Maestro. twins yes. going there. And uh, Chipa, he's our very own Mapeza, who is doing quite well yes, and yes. getting them good results. Uh, Maybe they, 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 they are no longer fighting relegation, but maybe even fighting to fit in the top yes. eight yes. to be a part of the Telcom and the MTN tournaments. Uh, Mapeza is doing quite well in South Africa. I think maybe a, 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 a guy like Mapeza, Norman, if, 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 if sometimes as a, as the, once, once you power, I'll give you an example like Ivan Koza, he's the chairman. He wants to run everything. They call him the Iron Chuk, the Pirates. Yeah. Those guys, who, I think their mind is still stuck in the past a bit. He's not a progressive thinker. L look at guys. Look at Kaiser Chiefs. Look at Sundowns. Look at uh, Patrice. The way, he, the, the way, he, the way they do, he, yeah, the way they do things at Sundowns. Yeah. He's involved, but he's not too involved in the team. Mm -hmm. His hands are not in too deep. Now, he's supporting it. Yes, he gives the them his, yes, the yes. support that they need. But his, his, his voice, it doesn't look over ever, everyone. Talk now about I'm, Jomoso, I'm the, no, like the, and the coach. That's why, because <laughs> that's why there's no, because that's why Cosmos doesn't. Cosmos will be there, but will not really achieve much. He emotionally managed. Yes, that's emotionally managed, as I'm saying. So with, 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 at, at, at uh, Pirates, I think uh, Ivan needs to let, let, let go a bit and start being progressive. Start thinking different outside the box, you see? Or maybe just kick it out. And get someone, yes. I, I personally, that's how, I, that's how I think, that's how I see it. Thanks a lot, uh, Randy, for joining us on Asaka Sports. Uh, hopefully, as we are going to be opening another forum to fight for sport. We're going to be having you as we discuss more and more about some urban sports. My brother, it's been a pleasure. And uh, the fight, the fight needs, to be, needs to be carried on because there is a fight indeed on our hands. We need to resuscitate our, our, our sports because our, our sports. sport is also a lifeline. Yeah. It, li it links to a lot of things. Like you said, it, the, there's, there's, there's economic factors, the social factors, see, health factors. There's a lot of benefits from sport. We cannot just watch, sit, watch, just sit by and be idle and watch our, our sports industry just fade perish, away. fade away, yes. you know, because yes. our brand is known. Do you know we've got a hockey, we've got a medal from the 1980 uh, Olympics, a gold medal, hockey, hockey okay. team. Yes, but it imagine. Does. Stay there. You see, <laughs> we, we didn't mention basketball, basketball, but still, there is so much to talk, <laughs> to talk about. about yeah. Ever since but we saw Elo Tumjaji, it has been quiet. Kirsty Coven, who is who's now our minister, is now quiet. Quiet. You see. Thanks a lot, Mr. Randy. No, you're welcome, sir. Thank Thanks you very much. much. Thank you for your time. Thank there you. you have it from Asaka Sports. Uh, we have so much to say when it comes to sport in Zimbabwe. You can pass your comment. Uh, hopefully those at the top will be able to understand how we ban to see sport resuscitated in Zimbabwe. We have seen even uh, the very own National Sports Stadium that we thought was good enough to host national team games being uh, 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 set aside as not fit enough to host games. What is really happening to our sport? As Umuntu Oshalalapa in Zimbabwe, I ban so do our fellow citizens in Zimbabwe who want to see sport resuscitated. Join us next time as we talk about more of sport here on Asaki Sports. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.